Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at the QB5 from MSI. This is their latest release. This is the i5 version, but they do i3 and i7 versions as well. And we're going to be mounting this to the MSI Pro MP242 series uh, monitor here. This is a 24 inch monitor. I'm going to show you how you can mount these mini PCs to the back of a monitor. So if you've very short of space or you've got a camp home, you can use something like this. So this is everything you're going to get inside the box if you buy the actual mini PC itself. You've got your mounting plate, which I'll show you how to use in a minute. And we've also got some screws in there. We've got a start button on here if you want to route that outside. And we also have the SATA cable here as well, which is also for our SSD, uh, which we can use. If we want to put a SSD inside here, we can do. It does come with an NVMe drive in this one. You got your warranty and your setup guide here. You got your power brick and also your plug here. Now the barrel connector on the power brick here. You can see these stats on here. Pretty small little power adapter. Output is 3.42 amps with 65 watts LPS on there. So on the front here we do have our power button, our activity light, and we have a Thunderbolt 4 port on here and two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. And we also have our audio headphone and microphone input. We have our Kenston lock on the side here. Maybe a bit of ventilation here. On this side, we have the same sort of thing here. A bit of ventilation. And moving on to the rear of the actual mini PC here. We do have our power input here. And we also have that exhaust area here. This is going to expel all the heat from inside the mini PC itself. Two USB 3.2 Gen 2 uh, ports on here. Two Ethernet ports, one uh, 2. gigabit Ethernet port and one gigabit Ethernet port there as well. And we have our HDMI and our DP, which is our display port on here as well. So moving on to the bottom here, we have some ventilation on the bottom. We also have our mounting area where we can mount this to the monitor, which I'll show you in a second. And we can also, now there's plenty of room for an SSD inside here as well. It does come with a one terabyte NVMe in this one. Uh, but you can change that in the configuration settings. But on here, you can mount a SSD on here. There is a port on the motherboard, and they do give you the cable to use that, as you can see up the very top right there. So this does come with a one terabyte Western Digital Black, and this is the SN770. And we also have that Kingston RAM in here, 2600 megahertz uh, speed RAM on here as well. So if you do want to mount an SSD in here, you can do for extra storage. It does support Bluetooth 5.2, and it also has Wi-Fi 6E on here. MU MIMO is also supported on here as well. And uh, so we've got quite a good specifications on this unit itself. There's the full specs here. i5 uh, 1235U processor. That's 10 cores, 12 threads for this one. 3.3 gigahertz base with 4.4 gigahertz max turbo with 12 megabytes of uh, smart cache on here. The graphics is the Iris uh, XE graphics on here. Memory 16 gigabytes on this configuration DDR4 2666 megahertz Kingston memory. And we also have that NVMe one terabyte drive in here, which can be upgraded as well. So a pretty high spec uh, mini PC here from MSI. We're going to be taking a look at the monitor now. I'm just going to quickly get the mounting uh, bracket here. So I'm going to show you how to mount these on the back of a monitor because I had quite a few people asking about how you can mount these. And uh, this is basically all you'd do. You'd get the screws that come in the mini PC here. And they also give you the screws for the uh, SSD if you want to mount that as well. But this basically will clip onto these once we screw it down. It's pretty straightforward. Just screw the four screws into the actual back plate here. So let me go ahead and I'll do one screw here for you. And there we go. And I'll just replicate this and go around and do the rest. I'll do one more and uh, we will just show you how it clips on and I'll show you the full finished result once we get that done. So who's gonna be wanting to mount a PC to the back of the monitor? Well, businesses and small uh, companies do. Also, if you're in a camp home, a mobile home, you can actually mount the little mini PC on the back of the monitor for space saving uh, purposes. Now the Pro MP242 monitor is a cost effective way of getting a monitor and a mini PC together. It also comes with eye, eye saving features built into it with less blue light, which means it's gonna stop you getting that really sore eye when you're looking at the monitor screen for long periods of time. 
So it's a great little monitor for mini PCs just like this. And it's ideal uh, for the specs of this mini PC as well. So you can see it's mounted here just like this here, and it will sit on the back just like so. And you put all your cables in. You can remove it here like this. It should just clip out like so. And it just hooks onto these little things here. And once this is set on, uh, you should be pretty much good to go here. Let me quickly show you the bottom of the inputs here for this monitor. There's not a lot of inputs on this sort of monitor because it is a sort of a budget style monitor. I just want to get the quick fit uh, base stand here. This is pretty straightforward. You just clip it into place. It can be removed by a little catch. And then all we need to do here now is put the base plate on and that's held on with a screw. So very simple. Doesn't have any rotation or anything like that. Just tilting backwards and forwards. That's a pretty basic uh, sort of mechanism here. But to put the base on, it's just a simple case of putting the uh, base into the little lugs here and then just use the screw which is on the bottom of the base plate and it just sits here it doesn't have to be added in it's already there for you just tighten this up and make sure you tighten this all the way down you don't need to use a screwdriver you can do this finger tight and once we get this done i'll show you the end result and we can get to some benchmarks of this mini pc i'll put the timestamps all in the video so you can skip along and skip this part if you want to if you've done this bit before you can see here the monitor does have a tilting mechanism here which allows you to tilt the monitor. Let me just show you the end result of the mounting system here. You can see this is with the uh, mini PC all mounted correctly with all the cables in. And basically with this like this, it would take up very little space and you can cable tie these a little bit better. But again, if you're in a caravan or something like that or mobile home, this will be ideal for space saving. So let me go ahead and power this on. And what I'll do is I'll do some benchmarks of the mini PC so you can see it in action. Let's take a look at the idle temperatures here. Now, I would expect this to be pretty good because it's MSI and they do make lots of laptops and other small devices with good cooling in them. And this is uh, no exception. This is really good idle temps of 41 uh, Celsius, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some more uh, temperatures once we put this under load. So I've got CPU Z here. You can see the specs of the CPU right here. I'm not going to go through all of this because I've covered it already. But basically, you can see here the wattage max TDP is 15 watts under idle. And we're going to go to look at the main board here. And you can see here it's a MicroStar International, which is MSI. And uh, also memory, uh, DDR4, 16 gigabytes of memory, uh, 266 megahertz uh, of RAM in here, speeds. As you can see here, Kingston, SK Hynix, uh, the uh, D DRAM uh, manufacturer. For this and you can see also some other information on here the timings and stuff like that let's go to the benchmark area here i'm just going to quickly stress test the cpu to see what sort of temperatures we get under load on the cpu here i'm expecting this to be pretty good for msi so let's go ahead and run this and you can see here already under the temperature on the package here we can see we're getting 54 celsius under that uh, stress test here on the cpu and that's exceptionally good for a mini PC. So if you're worried about heat and stuff like that, then don't worry about it because this MSI mini PC is pretty good at that. Let's test the speed of this uh, Western Digital Drive here. You can see there's the speeds, uh, 522.28 for the reads and the writes is 4,965.45 for the writes. And that is the read and write speed of that drive. The Geekbench score for the single core is 1,601, and for the multi-core is 5,540. The GPU OpenGL score is 11,683. Let's do some streaming, uh, 60 FPS, 4K streaming. As you can see here, I'm going to do some streaming on YouTube. I'll put uh, stats for nerds on here, and you can see if there's any drop frames here. So we'll stream this down, push play, and you can see there's a little frame drop right at the very beginning and once it stabilizes you're pretty much good to go from here i will drag the uh, movie across so you can see the dro frame drop right at that very beginning and then once it stabilizes you don't get any drop frames you can see it's at 27 when i drag it across you can see it went to 28 so you lost one frame and then it's stable so very very good let's try the jellyfish 120 mbps 4k ultra hd hevc 10-bit file and you can see no problem at all playing this uh, no stuttering silky smooth playback and if i skip along here you'll see that it starts straight away very very good indeed let me try a more advanced one here jellyfish 
400 Mbps, 4K Ultra HD, HEVC, 10 bits. And this is quite an aggressive photo to play. And you can see it's pretty smooth, not too bad. I'll do a skip here to see whether it catches up. Lovely. And that does a pretty good job as well. So pretty impressive with the streaming capabilities here. The Time Spy is 1,255 score on this one. And I'll also show you uh, the Night Raid here, which is for the GPU, 10,860 score on Night Raid, which is very impressive for these particular CPUs. So you can do some light gaming on this sort of uh, mini PC as well. So I'll do some emulation here so you can see. And uh, no problem at all, 60 FPS on times free upscale on this one as well. Pretty good. and. Uh, no problems at playing these sort of games. It can also play games in the Windows Store as well, and you might be able to play some other light gaming as well from the Steam Store. But as long as you're not expecting super hardcore 1080p gaming from some of their AAA listed games, then you'll be pretty okay. Because at the end of the day, this is a mini PC, but it can handle stuff like this all day long. No problem at all. Temperatures are not an issue, as you've already seen. So let me just show you a few more little games here, and then I'll show you exactly how you can get your hands on one of these on CyberPower's website, and this is where this one from. So if you're looking for a good all-round mini PC with low temperatures and plenty of upgradability and super fast speeds, it's got dual channel memory in this, so none of that single channel you can upgrade. And I'll show you some of the configurations that you can get with this particular mini PC. So you don't have to have this particular spec. You can go for a lower spec, this type of spec or even a higher spec at mini PC, depending on what your budget is and what your requirements are when it comes to a mini PC. It's no point having an i7 if you're not going to use all that power. They've got i3s and i5s. So let's head over to Cyber Power's website here, do a filter for MSI, and this will give you all of the MSI products that they're selling on Cyber Power's website. We're looking for the MSI QB 512M Mini PC. We're going to click on the Customize here, and this will allow you to customize your Mini PC for your liking. So it's got Windows 11 pre installed on here. So we're going to come down to the CPU section here. You click on the CPU, you can see they do an i3 version, an i5, and an i7 version. Depending on your requirements, I'm going to go for the i5 version here, which is going to be plenty ample what you're seeing here this is the i5 version you've seen in this video now, if you're looking for more power than the i5 they do an i7 version this is the 1255u this has the same 10 cores 12 threads uh, but it does have a, a faster max clock speed here and also it's just going to be a little bit more powerful but i think the i5 is a really good trade-off uh, for the sort of price range and also for the power that you're getting if you need something for just light general computer use then the i3 should suffice Let's go ahead and take a look at the memory here. You don't want to be using single channel memory. Always go for the dual channel memory like this one here. This is going to be much better for handling uh, applications like Photoshop and things like that and a bit of gaming. If you need more uh, memory usage here, you can go for 32 gigabytes there, which is two 16 gig sticks. So you've got plenty of room for upgradability there if you wanted to. Now for the hard drive, you've got the 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue. Uh, but we're going to upgrade this to the one terabyte Western Digital Black SN770. And this is an NVMe drive. And this is going to give us super fast speeds, which you've already seen in the video. So if you're looking for faster data transfer speeds, then the uh, Western Digital Black is the way to go. They do a two terabyte version there and an even a four terabyte version, which is even faster and also more storage. So depending on what sort of storage needs you've got, there's plenty of options available for you there. SSDs, they also offer those there where you can just uh, put those in when you purchase it. There's plenty to choose from here. You've got external storage here as well. And there's plenty of other options available like uh, dongles for your uh, Wi-Fi if you want to add one of those. But it does come with built-in Wi-Fi as well. So I'm just going to quickly add in a monitor here, which is the monitor you see here. I'm just going to put the check mark into uh, the MSI tab here. And we're going to go for this one here, which is just the M MSI Pro MP242. This is an IPS panel, five milliseconds, 75 hertz refresh rate on here, which is plenty powerful enough for what I need here. So go ahead, once we've got this in, I'm just gonna add this to the cart and then go through the payment process, which is pretty straightforward. You can use PayPal or card or something like that, depending on what you wanna do. You can choose your delivery time here, pretty straightforward stuff, and then set yourself up an account 
so they know who you are and who they're shipping it to. And then all you need to do is you can choose some additional parts if you want to, and then go through the confirmation page and pay for it. So let me just go ahead and finish this all off. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has helped you out a little bit. If you've never bought a mini PC and you're looking for one, I'll leave all the links in the video description. Hope you have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you around on the Discord server when I'm there. Bye for now.